Hello, we're going to go through configuring the remote with the text label so that when there's a call, it shows up on the screen of the command panel. I've got my command panel here wired up to this remote and a few others. Uh, I've got this wired into my computer, so we're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is start off with the Dropbox folder, the link that you were sent. Uh, this should have an Ampli, a uh, couple examples there uh, in this example 16 carer. So we're going to download those to our folder on the desktop. Save that, get that out of the way. And we're going to extract all here. And we don't need a separate folder. Um, it's actually not true. I'm going to suggest a second folder. So I'm going to create a new folder here. And I'm just going to say job one. Right, so we want our Ampli examples in this job, and you'll see why in a minute. So I've got a few examples we're gonna download to uh, one. So if I open this, I wanna open this in Notepad. If that didn't open up on your computer, go look at the video for associating files. But the text in this is my label, space, uh, open quote, and then this is gonna be the label that you want on the remote and close quote. All these X's are to achieve a minimum file size, so just leave those there. This is the only part you're gonna change. So, so we can close that. So if we go to the download program, we'll open that. We're gonna connect to our command panel, configuration menu, 1.90, and say okay. And let's put in our password of one, two, three, four, five. Say connect, and we're going to select explore devices. Go through start scan, and this is going to show us all the devices that are on our system. So we have four, five, so we're going to label four and five here. Um, so for label four, we're going to go back here and disconnect, and now we need to change to connect to the specific uh, module. So we're going to send to RS45 module four. Okay. We're going to say connect, send general file. We're going to browse to that label. So I'm going to go into job one. I'm going to go to the example. Hit open. I'm going to select file name translation and I'm going to choose ampli.cfg. All of the remotes are, because they drive the speakers, are considered little amplifiers. So that's the ampli.cfg. We're going to say OK. That's going to download it. This is a pretty small package. Uh, it's a pretty small file, so the packets are going to go pretty quick. It's going to say download complete, and you can hit close. At this point, you have to say reset device, or it's not going to remember the label. So in a couple seconds, you'll see the LEDs flash here that it reset. Um, if you do a start scan really quick before it does that, see how it skipped node 4 on the screen? Uh, that's because this is still resetting. Probably takes about 30 seconds for that to go through. Okay, and we see this uh, device reset here. Now we'll say start scan. All right, so now I have node four. That label is 16 characters maximum. So when I hit this button here, I'm gonna put my hand over the speaker so I don't get a lot of feedback. And I go to events we get 16 characters maximum, right? Of the label that we just downloaded. So I'm gonna hit listen and end. So that ends and goes away. So we've got a few other ones here. Um, what I was saying for the job folder, what I suggest doing is once you have an example, um, and I'm gonna delete these other ones here. So I wanna start with this. So I'm gonna be addressing on this job, I've got elevator one and I'm gonna do floor two through five. So if I have this label, I've got elevator one, floor two. I'm going to take and copy that and paste that right into the same folder. You can do that uh, also with control C, control V, control V, right? And make a few copies of this file. You can then rename them to floor three, floor four, 
and floor five. Then we'll just go into the file. We'll change those to the correct label. Uh, Control S for save or for floor four, we can do four and then file save. Close that. Now floor five and save. So now we have all the jobs prepared for, or all the files prepared for this job. So in the download program, we can disconnect from node four. And I started on my addressing on this one, I started with four. So four is floor two, five is floor three, and six is gonna be floor four. So make sure you keep that straight. You can also, uh, if you wanna keep that uh, straight here, you can add that to the file name, whatever's easier for you to set up. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna connect to node five, say okay, connect, send general file, and we're gonna browse to floor three now. Hit open, file name translation, ampli.cfg, say okay. That's gonna send. Now, as soon as we get the OK here, we can say close and close, reset device, disconnect. Now, I don't have to wait for that remote. I can go right here now, go to six, say OK, connect, send general file. And if I wanna change this here, I can just change this uh, floor four, right? File name translation ampli.cfg, hit OK. OK, download successfully completed. We'll close that, reset device, disconnect. So at this point, uh, floor five should have already reset. So if I go connect again, and start scan, you should see elevator one, floor three, and now six isn't even in the list um, because that was still resetting. If we give that a few more seconds, we can hit start scan again. Oops, six is still resetting. So we'll give that a few more seconds. Hit start scan, floor three, floor four, right? And on down the list. So that's how you do it. And if you have a lot of remotes, you're just gonna continue that, create a few more files and keep downloading uh, remote by remote and give them the names that are appropriate.